Hello people, welcome to my new video. I am Bharat Acharya. Today I am going to teach you two instructions, push and pop. Okay, uh, push and pop I used to store something into the stack or to remove something from the stack. First of all, I hope you know what is a stack. If you don't know a brief introduction, a stack is a part of the memory. It's a set of locations operating in last in, first out manner. So, if you store 1, 2, 3, when you get it back, you get back as 3, 2, 1. Where are they used? They have massive uses. Simplest use is the SMS folder, the text folder inside your phone. Suppose you get message 1, then 2, then 3. When you open the folder, you say, see message number 3 first. So that folder operates in the form of a stack. Okay, that's one use. There are tremendous uses of stacks. Now, as I said, stack is there in the memory. Okay, this is the processor. When you want to store something into the stack, the operation is called push. When you write push, okay, there are some rules in 8086 which have to be followed. It's a very simple instruction, but it has some rules. If you want to push a number 2000 into the stack, you are not allowed to write push 2000, okay? Push and pop do not support immediate addressing mode. I hope you know what are addressing modes. If you don't know, uh, I have made a video for that. Uh, the, the link for that will be there in the playlist. I'll also try to put it as a suggested video anyways. So image and addressing mode means data in the instruction. That is not allowed in push and pop. So if you want to push a number 2000, you have to first put 2000 into a register. The only thing that you can write next to push is a register. Okay, as of now, keeping it simple. Now, when you write a register, the register has to be a 16-bit register. So BL not allowed. DH not allowed. If you write DX, it's valid. You can write AX, you can write CX, whatever, but it has to be a 16 bit register. So I'll say the two rules again. First, this cannot be a number, it has to be a register. Second, it has to be a 16 bit register. That's it. Now the instruction is very simple. Push DX means you want to push the value of BX register into the stack. Stack is a part of the stack segment. In the stack segment, SS gives the segment address as in it tells where the stack segment is. In the stack, these are various elements. This is the current top of stack. These are empty locations. This is the current top of stack. The top of stack is pointed by SP. Consider this to be the latest SMS that you have. Okay, so that's the top of your stack. Now, I want to push the value of BX. That's a new SMS coming. The new SMS that comes does not overwrite on the current SMS, on the current top of stack. Whatever you push will come above the current top of stack. Now since this is a 16-bit number, you know in memory, one location carries one byte. One byte means 8 bits. If you want to store 16 bits, you need two locations. So this is a 16-bit number, it will go into two locations. So BH and BL will go to these two. Now the question is who will go where? You don't need to mug up, you just need to follow some basics. Whenever 16-bit data is stored in the memory, the rule followed is lower byte is always stored at the lower address. Higher byte is always stored at the higher address. I repeat, lower byte, lower address, higher byte, higher address. This is the lower byte, this is the higher byte. Look at the addresses. This is the top of stack pointed by SP. So this address will be SP minus 1. You understand? This is 0, 0, 0. This is FFL. Stack grows backwards. So if this address is SP, this is SP minus 1. This is SP minus 2. So obviously SP minus 2 is a smaller number. So it's the lower address. So lower byte will go to the lower address. Higher byte will go to the higher address. So BL will come here. BH will come here. Once these two have been pushed into the stack, who is the top of stack now? XX or BL? Obviously BL. Who always points to the top of stack? SP. So once these two have been pushed, SP will now become SP minus 2 and it will point to the new top of stack. Okay. How do you write this as steps? Stack segment offset address SP minus 1 gets the value of BH. Stack segment offset address SP minus 1 gets the value of BH. Stack segment offset address SP minus 2 gets the value of BN. Once these two have been pushed, SP will become SP minus 2. That's your push operation. I hope you understood this. Now, if you understood push, you should understand pop right away. It's just the opposite of push. Tell me, what does push BX mean? Push BX mean you want to push the value of BX into the stack. What does pop BX mean? 
means you want to pop the data from the stack. I repeat, pop the data from the stack and take it into BX. Push BX will push from BX into the top of stack. Pop BX will pop from top of stack into BX. Okay. So I have written pop BX. This is the stack segment. There is something, then there is one, two, then there is three, four. So this is the top of stack pointed by SP. SP stands for stack pointer. It always points to the top of stack. So if this address is SP, please understand. This address will be SP plus one. This will be SP plus two. Okay. When I do a pop, like push, there can only be a register. Secondly, it has to be a 16 bit register. Okay. So that means I'm popping 16 bit data. 16 bit data means it will come from one location or two locations, two locations. So these two locations data will come inside BX register. So the question is who will get which data? Again, same principle. Don't look at the numbers. The numbers don't give you an idea. Look at the addresses. This is SP, this is SP plus one. That means this is a smaller address. That means it's the lower address. Lower address will give you the lower byte, higher address will give you the higher byte. So BN will get the data from SP, BH will get the data from SP plus 1. Once these two have been popped out, who is the top of stack? 34 or XX. It's like you've deleted two top messages from your SMS folder. Once you have deleted them, this now becomes the top of stack. So this is the top of stack. So SP will now get SP plus 2, which is very obvious. In a push, SP gets decremented by 2. In a pop, SP will get incremented by 2. I hope you understood that. So how do you write it? BL gets the data from stack segment SP. BL gets the data from stack segment SP. BH gets the data from stack segment location SP plus 1. Once these two have been popped, SP will then become SP plus 2. That's it. That's your push and pop instructions. I hope you understood it. Okay? All the best. Uh, this instruction, the whole push and pop instruction with diagrams and like that, every instruction of 8086 in detail is explained in my book with the whole programming and interfacing and everything about 8086 that a whole person can know and even about high processors, uh, 386, 486, Pentium, a brief introduction and architecture of all of them. The book is available on Amazon, the links are given below. You can order it as a physical copy, it's available worldwide and even the Kindle, the soft copy. Okay, that's about it. All the best.